1981 was a year of explosive growth for the video game industry as a whole, and for one company in particular, Activision, bringing you the most creative and original home video games with extraordinary graphics, exciting sound, and incredibly realistic action. Just what you've come to expect from Activision. Here's why. What I really try to do in my video games is to bring the player onto the screen, to put him into the game, to have him experience the thrill of the sport or the challenge, make them feel like they're part of the game, that they're in the game. Do you have ice hockey by Activision? I think you're ready for it. <laughs> One of the roughest video games around for your Atari game system. Ready to battle for the puck? Well. To inflict fast body checking? <laughs> furious stick checking? <laughs> Ruthless tripping! <laughs> you really think you're ready for all that? I'm ready! I'm ready! Fine. Cash your charge. I thought you by Activision! <laughs> What I like about video games is a game that, as, as you achieve different levels, you get more insight into the game. As you get better at the game, the game makes it harder for you to get better on it. It should have a skill factor, and the skill factor should either be one of um, physical reaction or there should be a strategy involved, a mental thing that you have to do, so that the game itself grows on you. So you think you're fast enough to beat the bomber? I don't think so. Kaboom! By Activision! Plug this cartridge into your Atari video game system and get ready to handle high explosives. <laughs> Don't sneeze. Don't even blink. Because the faster you get, the faster he gets. And if you miss... Kaboom! By Activision. I enjoy people enjoying themselves. I think that's what it comes down to. I think what turns me on mostly in game programming is the unique combination of technical skills and creative juices. To combine those things, I really enjoy that. I've been driving cattle most of my natural life, and you're telling me I can't handle a stampede? Not this one, Buck. Stampede by Activision for your Atari game system. One of the toughest video games around. Stampede's more than expert rope and ride. It's a test of strategy and skill. Go ahead, you Keep your hands on the ride. Buck, you boys come in now. Oh, Ma. Stampede by Activision. My specialty in video game design is graphics and sound. I try to make a game as colorful as possible and as true to life as I can. Each time I try to advance the state of the art, I try to come up with some new way of performing the program. Until I do that, I don't know how far I can go. Okay, ladies. Game time. Yeah. Got this new video game by Activision called Freeway. I just plug it into my Atari video game system and really impress the ladies. Because with Freeway, you gotta be real good to race your chicken across ten lanes of heavy traffic. You gotta dodge speeding cars, roaring trucks. And sometimes you make it without getting your feathers ruffled. Sometimes... <laughs> ladies, I'm only human. Freeway by Activision. Winning Activision Design Team, constantly pushing back the creative boundaries of video game design. The hallmark of an Activision game is the unique ability our designers have to bring you inside the game to make you feel like you're a part of it and not just playing with it. That theme is going to be a big part of our advertising this year. The Activision advertising plan features campaigns for every new game that's introduced. And for the first time, a new corporate campaign ties it all together with the real name of the game, Activision. And we're not stopping there. Activision continues to introduce new and innovative point-of-sale materials as creative and original as the Activision games themselves. They'll generate real excitement in the retail environment and keep the retailers ahead of the game. And to keep the games coming, Activision recently opened its 92,000 square foot manufacturing and distribution facility, and it's turning out cartridges faster than ever. Production capacity will soon be three times what it is today. No amount of advertising support or production capacity means anything if you don't have it in the game to begin with. And that's where our design team comes in. They are constantly pushing back the creative boundaries in game design. And Activision is actively recruiting and developing new game design talent. 
Every new game that we come out with at Activision is a new breakthrough in the technology. Barnstorming is a breakthrough in its use of graphics and vivid colors. Activision's Rookie of the Year, Steve Cartwright, takes you on a wild ride in his first game creation, Barnstorming. It'll set the industry buzzing again. And new from David Crane, the excitement and wheel-spinning exhilaration of the definitive game on racing, Grand Prix. Our new games for 1982 are continuing to push back to creative boundaries in video game design. For example, take a look at a couple of sneak previews of what we've got coming in June. We've come out of nowhere to be a leader in the industry in just two years. But we've just started. I mean, the fun has just begun because there's enormous creative growth, there's enormous industry growth in front of us. And Activision's going to play a major role in both those areas during the next decade. Activision 1982. On the move with an expanding creative team. Unique and powerful advertising and merchandising support. And, of course, those incredibly involving games. Activision in 1982. We put you in the game.